Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the new machining templates. Uh, what this will allow you to do is to be able to make machines faster and simpler without having to go through and modifying the controller and the project file. So to activate this, let's go under File, New, and you'll see Machining Project from Template. When you click that, you'll see this new dialog here with about 31 different templates. What we want to make is a 5-axis milling machine, so I'll select this XYZAC. Now it's asking me for the location of the new project, so I'm going to hit the Browse. And I have a folder on my desktop already, so I'll select that. And to make things simple, I'll call it Milling 5X. And I have the option to open the project, the machine file, or the controller file, or all three. I'm just going to need to open the machine file and I'll go ahead and click OK. Now from here, under the Overview tab, you can see if I hit Start in the Number Pad, my Axis Tree is made for me automatically. All I need to do on my end is go ahead and drag and drop the machine solids onto the node. So I'll grab these and I'll drop these under Machine Base. Now what I want to do is modify all of these already, so I'm going to click on this node here. I'm going to select this option, that's all shapes. And I can go ahead and modify this. So I'll say override material to true. I'll change the edge angle here because I don't like all these facets, so I'll set that to 25. And I'll go ahead and change the color. And I'll change it to white. Click OK. Now you can see there's no more facets and the machine's white. So what I want to do next is move all the solids to their respective axis. So I'll take A, drop it onto A solids, C under C solids, X under X solids, Y under Y solids, and Z under Z solids. Next, I'll set my axis limits. So for X, I'll say it's negative 400 to positive 400. Y, I'll do the same thing. Z, I'll say from negative 750 to zero. And the tool spindle, I'll translate up to 780. And the A axis, I'll say the lower limit is negative 110, upper limit is 35. Now you can see under collision data here, the collision data is already set up for me automatically and that's from the template. So if I go and view the collision handling, if I move all these axes, you won't see any collisions. The only thing I have to do from here is hit save. Now I have a file here in the spree that's trying to do five axis cuts on a three axis machine. So let me go ahead and change that to the new machine we just made. So I'll go browse for it on my desktop here, milling 5x, select this machine, click OK, you can see that it changes. And when I hit OK, everything should rebuild and you should see these links be uh, green and the machines be green as well. OK, one more time. And I can go ahead and hit Simulate. And you can see now it's doing the cut. So that concludes our video for the machining templates. Thank you.